Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and uh, big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 11, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So let's start by looking at the S&P 500. So... As you can see, we fell initially in the beginning of the trading session, and then we turned around. Um, at this point, the 20 exponential moving average should be supported as around 3,627. Um, if that breaks, then of course we have the 40 right underneath here, but I do not, I do not expect the 22 to basically break. Uh, we're just going to see more of this. And if we rally here, take out this top here, then we're heading towards... 4,000. That is probably um, going to take a few weeks, but uh, 3,800, that is um, a likely goal for the end of December, and so we'll probably have a pullback from there and then head towards uh, 4,000, but that is where we are going. These moves here, these massive pullbacks towards the 100 moving average is probably something that it's going to take a long time for us to see these kinds of move again. So we're going to head into 2021. We're going to have a new president, a new administration, and the focus is going to be on the coronavirus and the reviving the U.S. economy. And that means stimulus, stimulus, stimulus. Um, of course, there is going to be a lot of noise uh, because of Democrats and Republicans, uh, but... Both are interested in basically um, keeping the economy going because it will hurt both parties and, and uh, none of them wants that. So there is going to be stimulus. It's just going to take time and it'll probably happen in, in the, um, maybe a little bit, uh, a small part in December, but most likely in, in January and, and February. So this market is going to take off when that occurs, like we did see back here when there was a lot of stimulus and the market just went up, up and up because it only thinks about liquidity at this point. So pullbacks are buying opportunities. And um, yes, if you look at technical indicators, they are looking, well, fairly negative. But I would not, I would not um, put so much emphasis on, on these technical indicators at this point. I would focus on the moving averages. And as long as this 20 exponential holds uh, and we don't have a major breakdown from these, then I would not be worried at all. These uh, technical indicators have proven to have bro broken down and then they just jump straight up again, both for the stochastic and the MACD and so on. We're at 66 in the RSI. It's quite high, but I do believe we can get to 3,800 before we have some kind of pullback. So let's look at the Dow Jones. We can see that we're still within this range. I can clean this up a little bit. So the highs here, um, we need to take out this candlestick in order to go higher to uh, 31,000. And uh, at this point, 20 exponential is holding. That's around 29,700. And as long as that is the case, we are just expecting a rally from here. It'll probably take a few days, but um, that is going to happen. We are going to take out these uh, these you know, previous highs here, and we're going to head towards 31,000. So these technical indicators are looking fairly, well, fairly bearish at this point, but the 20 exponential is move, holding. We'll probably trade sideways like this, and then we'll have a massive green candlestick. Maybe tomorrow, but a Monday, Tuesday session, I would be very surprised if we do not see a move similar to that. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So this is a very, very encouraging sign. We had a massive fall yesterday. We fell again today towards the 20 exponential, found major support at the 20 exponential. And uh, at this point, I think that we are just going to see a rally up towards 13,000. That is 
uh, target I have set and I'm pretty sure that we can manage that target uh, before the end of December. So that's a move of 5.5% uh, or give or take. And uh, I think that we are going to see that um, uh, probably tomorrow. And the reason why I say that is because the US dollar index is starting to depreciate again. That will work uh, positive for this ind indice. Um, subsequently, we have stimulus talks and we have major support here. Not just the 20, but also these previous highs, we, which we haven't broken. So we are most likely going to turn around here. If we take out this top, then we are heading straight to 30, 13,000. And yes, so I'm definitely a buyer. I have been buying this all the way down because I expect this to pull back significantly at the end of um, this month or beginning tomorrow or Friday or Monday. But at least in the end of the month, we are going to see this significantly higher. So let's look at the tech stocks. They have been all over the place uh, this week. We are uh, looking at Netflix at this point. Um, Netflix is up 1.5%. Uh, Tesla was doing really well, 3.7%. And um, if you look at Netflix again, we found uh, support here at um, 50 moving average and then pulled back a little bit. At this point, we're probably just going to stay here because the reason for it is that these technical indicators are showing that we are most likely going to go lower. So the very lows of this market is the 100 and 150 moving average. That's at the 484. And if we get there, then it is absolute buying uh, from my side. So we'll see. If we break the 50, that means that we're heading towards 521. If we break uh, 521, we're heading all the way to 573. So Microsoft has been absolutely dead the last few weeks. Nothing has happened here, basically. Uh, today, we fell quite significantly, and we're heading towards $208 a share. I think that we are going to find major support here. But if this area, if this price level doesn't hold, then the 150 will most definitely be significant support for the stock. So the lower this gets, the better down, the cheaper it gets, the better the buying opportunity. No one is basically selling this. I am buying this all the way down. So let's look at Apple. Apple has rallied today from the 20 exponential moving average, and we're trading at 123 at this point. We may see Apple pull back a little bit. Um, these technical indicators are not very um, encouraging for Apple stock at this point. So it's just going to see a lot of choppiness, to be fairly honest. Uh, we need to take out these previous highs and also over here in order to go significantly higher. The very highs were back in September, beginning of September, when we basically saw this massive decline of roughly 25% in Apple stock. Since then, we have just been bouncing off the 100 moving average and we have not been managing to, we have not managed to take out these uh, previous highs here, nor the, even the, uh, the all time highs. So it's, well, it's hard to say when that is going to occur. We're most likely gonna just see more of the same. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon fell quite significantly today um, towards 3,101 um, is where we're trading at this point. This hammer here is looking dreadful. So if we roll over from here, then we're heading towards 150. And there is going to be major, major support at that price level. So we see a lot of buyers coming in when we get to this level. So. I'll definitely be buying this if you get down there. So just wait. If we can get all the way down to 3013, then this is a buy to the very highest here, a hold for probably uh, several weeks, yeah, but a fairly good trade because this is roughly, get away. This is a trade of roughly 17.5%. That's a fantastic trade. So if you look at Tesla, Tesla has rallied again today. We broke down towards the 20 exponential and the 20 exponential 
did hold. So we are not, we could see this go further, but this is Tesla. I do not think that we are going to see um, Tesla break the 20 exponential and head towards the, uh, the 40 exponential, which is here right above $500 a share. Technical ind indicators for Tesla are, are mixed. Stochastic is negative. The CCI is becoming negative. Um, MACD is, is over the signal line and the RSI is technically flat at this point. But this is an encouraging sign. You can see that the traders were waiting for this uh, to fall towards the 20 and then basically they bought as much as they technically could. That's why it bounced from here. But it's not viable at this point. We need another pullback towards the 20 or a break above these highs in order to, to know that we are going significantly higher. So let's look at Facebook. We see that we fell below the 50 moving average and then rallied again. At this point, I think that we are going to head towards the, the 100 moving average. Uh, if you look at technical indicators here, they are looking very, very depressing, very negative at uh, all of them. Stochastic, CCI, uh, MACD has crossed the signal line, and um, the RSI is also uh, heading downwards. It's not even flat. So a touch of the 100 moving average is the entry point. I don't believe that we are going to break the 100 moving average. As you can see, it has been major support for a very, very long time. So there's a lot of negative news about Facebook at this point because uh, they're in a lawsuit and uh, they are running a risk of basically, um, uh, of, um, um, of basically a breakup of Instagram and, and uh, WhatsApp. So, of course, that will be a major blow to this company and therefore we have all this negative sell-off here. So let's look at Google. Uh, Google has fallen all the way towards the 40 exponential and then basically rallied again. At this point, we're just at the, uh, at the 20 exponential moving average. Um, we may see a retest of the 40 exponential um, tomorrow session. Um, technical indicators for, for Google are looking very negative. Uh, but I don't think that we are going to see a move like this break all the way down to the 150 or 100. Um, if we could get to the worst of 50, then that would be a major, major buy for Google stock. So the lower this gets, the better the buying opportunity. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.